energy band structure of magnesium the magnesium is also group 2 element this one is group 2 element and as we studied in the last lecture that all group 2 elements have completely filled outer s orbit so this magnesium is also having completely filled outer s orbit because it is from group 2 atomic number of magnesium is 12 atomic number is equals to 12 and so electronic configuration is one s two two s two two p six and three s two so this outer s orbit is completely filled so the conduction mechanism in magnesium appears complicated by the fact that each 3s state of the valence shell in the atom is doubly occupied thus the 3s band must be filled completely the 3s band is completely filled and therefore no electronic conduction would in principle be expected however it is observed that because of partial overlapping of 3s and the empty 3p bands leaving it partially filled so in this case what happened even though this 3s2 is completely filled it overlaps with Three P. Three P is empty, and that's why it is a good conductor of electricity. Let's consider these energy levels of the magnesium atom. This is one S, which is completely filled. This one is two S. Also completely filled. This is two p. Completely filled. Six electrons are there. And this one is three s. Also completely filled. This one is three p, which is empty. So this is the case for individual atom. When atoms are separated by a distance infinity. then in a solid of n atoms we are bringing n number of atoms together so that it form a solid so when this interatomic distance between the atoms decreases outermost l energy level is 3p so here 3p will start first splitting since this 3s is shielded by 3p later on 3s will start splitting if you decrease interatomic distance further then the 2p will start splitting but this inner energy levels 1s and 2s are shielded by 2p 3s and 3p energy levels these are the innermost energy levels so they will split at the end and in this diagram as you can see on the x axis there is interatomic distance and the y axis is energy axis as interatomic distance decreases you can see the splitting of these energy levels increases in this a not is actual interatomic distance to get the band structure of the magnesium we have to slice this splitting of energy levels at a not by slicing here 
as you can see it is sliced over here you get this bands and you can here clearly see that at interatomic distance this 1s and 2s are not splitting at all because they are shielded by 2p 3s and 3p energy levels so they may not split at all at interatomic distance so we got here again this is a 2p band here and this one is a combination of 3s plus 3p so we got here the composite band or we can say it is hybrid band and this band is 2p band consider these two bands in a solid of n atoms this 2p band will be having 3n energy levels six n quantum states its capacity is to accommodate six n electrons six n capacity of electrons accommodation and there are six n electrons available therefore this 2p band is completely filled then consider hybrid band hybrid band which is combination in this case is 3s plus 3p is the hybrid band this band over here in this band since it is a combination of 3s and 3p 3s is having n energy levels 3p is having 3n energy levels so total energy levels are 4n that is 1n plus 3n 4n energy levels means there are 8n quantum states at n quantum states then it can accommodate maximum at n electrons capacity capacity of electron accommodation maximum it can accommodate at n electrons but in this case as i said 3p is empty and 3s is completely filled so only 2n electrons are available and therefore 6n quantum states empty in other words you can say 3n energy levels are are empty and only 1n energy levels filled so only one fourth band is filled with the electrons three fourth band is empty in this case only one fourth is filled so this is filled and this is empty empty energy levels are 3n filled energy levels are 1n so because of this 
partial overlapping of 3s and 3p band composite band is formed and in this composite band lot many energy levels are free so even a small electronic excitation can give enough kinetic energy to the electrons small excitation can give enough kinetic energy to the electrons to jump into higher vacant levels and produce electric current.